time to get the scavenger pump back on. Take the spider. 400 horsepower right there. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to put the scavenger pump back in and I'm going to be sorting out the suspension. I'm gonna have to re glue it. How <sighs> glue it? Is the barb still in it? Well, that sucks. Chipped off when I screwed the barb in. I'm just gonna have to re glue that. It's alright, we'll see it back on in this episode anyway. Just gotta find something else to do. So I'll do the suspension. Will I lower it? Will I raise it up? Stay tuned. And it's another day. I had to get a new phone yesterday, so I couldn't really do much more. So today we'll be putting on the overflow and the scavenger pump and the hoses. That's better. It was all fogged up. Left the uh, GoPro in the car last night. So. Hose on, hose clamps on the scavenger. Let's do it. Time to get the scavenger pump back on. Glue is dry. I did glue it in with the barb in there. Just to make sure it won't leak. There we go. Got it back on. I'm not going to show you too much of the scavenger pump because you've seen a few videos already. I'll just hook up all the hoses. And there we go, boys and girls. Pipes up higher than the exhaust now. Alright, guys. Golf's been on for uh, five minutes or so. Let's see if I can start it. Oops, scavenger. Not yet. So, the main thing I need to do now is plumb in the wastegate to intake of the GT35 so I can actually see how much the GT35 is running and also put another boost gauge in there so I've got two okay so the things I've done since last time I had it started was I've tightened up that water also put the overflow hose on to the expansion bottle and I have raised up that drain so this is the main focus when I started up, is to see how it drains, um, as the hose on the drain is very short. The main thing is I wanted to get it above the exhaust, the last thing you want to do is rip that off, and then pretty much there goes your engine. Alright, let's try getting it started. It's been on for about 10 minutes now, let's give the pump on, crank. Ugh. Starter. There we go. Now I 
just turn the skimmer pump off as soon as I turn the car off. So the oil is up to about here. That's what I there. I'm actually thinking it's the wrap that's smoking. Actually, nah, on the three inch it's not smoking at all. It's got little droplets on it. Any idea? Looks like condensation. If you know what that is, write it down in the comments below. Uh, no leaks at all on this tea piece. Let's check the scavenger. No leaks from the hose. There was a little bit of oil sitting on the top of it, so I think it's just coming around. There's a poster going. Now this hose here was sitting in the bloody oil pan, so it's got a bit of oil on the outside of it. I am very happy. I'll work on the back of it. What are we going to do? Alright, so I'm just going to take you through what tools you need to change over the rear suspension. We need pliers to take off the clip for the brake line. Uh, for myself, I needed some 17s for the sway bar links. Some 19s. 19 for the nuts on the wheel, so the lug nuts, and also the bolts that hold the bottom of the suspension into the knuckle. Need a 12mm deep socket for the three 12 mils on top of the suspension. Scissor jack to put it underneath the knuckle and scratch it and we call the drill just made it quicker but yeah they are the basic tools that you need to take off and swap over your rear suspension be it back to stock or to lowered or even coilovers i believe have fun try it yourself And I do have spaces on the back, so I'll leave them on. <laughs> I drove over one of the jack stands. I do have a trolley jack, but it's broken. That's why you probably see me with the little scissor jack. Get some lift. There we go, car is up. All right, first rule of changing suspension check it up safely, jack stands, put a chuck under the front. Next step. Obvious, take your wheels off. But also, loose your nuts when they're on the ground. Stupid thing. Might not have loosened that one. And for added safety, check the spider. And also, 
I always chuck the wheel under the car, just in case. Put it in front of jack stand. Just never know. Right, there's my one inch spacer for the back. Get a nice fitment. So the first thing, take off the sway bar links. It's going to make changing suspension so much easier. Alright, let's do it. So I'm going to take off the sway bar link. So this one here, it's a 12 and a 15 odd ones. No, it's not. 15 and 17. Okay. Like I said, two 17s. <laughs> so after jacking the car up, is the oil. Come out. I think maybe just because I've jacked up the back. And remember, I did not leave the scavenger pump running, so I can also do that. Yeah, that will eventually go to a catch can, which will be in the battery location. What the hell was that? So we're not going to have any of this. Finally found my ratchet. So we're going for a 19. But same as the lug nuts. So 19. You will most likely need some leverage. Depending on how long. Ow! That's what it means. <laughs> Alright. Loose. And the second one. Wait, let's try to wedge. Wedge that. There we go. I'm just going to get the ratchet on to that. I think I need some new bushes in those sway bar links. It is an adjustable sway bar. It's got three, three settings there. So it's on the stiffest. Mountain mil. clip here off. So I need some pliers. Now I have changed his suspension so many times that uh, have to, well they already angle grinded away so I could um, get them out. Um, going from the back. Alright so when I bought them there was a little cut here so we could get the brake lines out. So I just I just bend that. It's all about the angle and you guys are in the right angle. <laughs> there we go. So just gotta get these bolts out.
Alright. We'll get those bolts together. Mm. Oh. There we go. So we've got the sway bar detached. Let's drop down quite a bit. Uh, once the other side's off, it'll probably drop down again. But we can go ahead and... Oh, here we go. Really should have something under here to support it. Go ahead and take three 12mm bolts out of the top from inside. So if you go to Forrester, you'll have a cover like this. Pretty easy to pop off. Then normally we have that over there. Then there's a silver cap like that. That sits over the top. So the bolts will be on top of that. Obviously, change that many times. I haven't put them on. But we'll just go ahead and get rid of these three. We'll undo them. I'll put it down out here so you can see it drop. Make sure you don't lose those nuts into under the carpet. Right, we would have seen that drop down a bit. It'll be very easy to pop it out now, but I'm going to go get that scissor jack and just put it underneath. Alright, so I've just jacked it up a bit just so I can get the link off. So I'm going to let that down. It's going to go pretty far down, it would be very easy to get the suspension out now. So, there we go. Blop, 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 blop. So, just watch out for the ABS sensors when you're getting the suspension out. So get a bit of an angle and out she comes. Yeah, stock suspension back in. What was one of the main things I said? Check the spiders. There's quite a few webs on here. Could just brush it off. Last thing I want is to be bitten by a spider. Get it dirt. Clean it up. And also. Make sure you got the right side. Easy way to tell is the location of the brake bracket there. So it's on the back side of it. Alright, so this is normally a little bit harder as probably easier if you've got somebody to help. Just to start off the nuts on the inside. But right. let's see how we go. So I've let that all the way down. Just line it up into the knuckle. So it just needs a bit of a wiggle. Down a little. There we go. They're in, so I'll put them in loose. So now I'll put these 19 mils back in. And drop it down. different angles now. 
both these bolts are the same. Whereas the front ones have caster bolts. So you can change your camber or camber bolt, should I say? So I'll leave that down. I do have a bolt in. Other bolt. Got it sitting in there. Push it forward. And it should be able to get it in. There we go. Do is tighten them up. Nineteen back on there. Just a quick one. Talk settings if you need to. And one last thing the brake. Also, don't misplace that clip like I have. Okay, I can't find that clip. Come back to it. I will find it. Just going to go to the inside and chew up these nuts. So make sure we have. Make sure you have a deep socket. Don't do them up tight. And then, do them up tight. Go. Make sure you got a deep socket for this one. That's it. We do the other side. Okay, so I've put both rear struts back in the stock ones. Still have the sway bar disconnected. The links hanging down. Put that back on when it's on the ground. But now. Yeah. Get this exhaust off. So let's have a look underneath. It's all straight parts in mild steel. Two and a half, two and a half into a collector to two and a half with a flange. Same on the other side, got some leaks. Mild steel, rust. Um, 
some dodgy routing. <laughs> likes, 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 likes. Got the little resonator that I stole out of a mid pipe. We have flange, which is leaking. So I'm going to put the stock one back on. Um, I will have to transfer this hanger mount back over to this side. And then we'll put the stock one back on. So we'll get this off. Found it. I'm sitting on the milk crate. That wedged in there like that. Let's chuck that back on, and then we'll get to the exhaust. Okay, the tools I'm going to use to get the exhaust off is a massive straight blade screwdriver. It's just to pry it off. A adjustable wrench. 40 mil socket. 14 mil ratchet spinner. Original fidget spinner. And just ratchet. So that'll go on there. Do it. Put it down. Back here. Sorry about the light, guys. Let's try to get this done as quick as possible. I actually can't believe I put this on. It's so crap. Once the car's back on the road, I'll redesign it, reweld it. By then I'll have a argon and I'll make it pretty. First attempt at welding. <laughs> Look at those joints, angles, it's terrible. So I'll probably end up hacking this one up, get some stainless steel, get some nice curves going. I attempted to use my pipe bender, which is crap. Um, I've got a little little scrape from the other day on the driveway from my last video Look at all those leaks 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 yeah I'm gonna put the stock one back on I'm not gonna record that everyone knows what a stock exhaust looks like alright stock exhaust is on uh, put some gasket sealer on that flange, the diff back flange. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm going to put the wheels back on, lower it down, and then put that sway bar on and start it up. Run it for about 10 minutes to cure the exhaust cement gasket thingamajiggy. And you guys can hear the difference in the exhaust. Lock and stock by. The boat. Good fitment there. The spaces. Alright, let's start it up. Sorry about the sun guys, it's about 3 o'clock so the sun's getting low. Golf hasn't been on long charging, so let's see if this works. Scavenger on. One's two. <laughs> Can you hear it?
pretty loud. No leaking. Put you guys down here, give it a bit of a rev. Back in, and that's it for the day. Stay tuned, we've got more coming.